Eight notes scale ABC, it's Ron. Thanks for stopping by. All right, I got a good one lined up for today. I'm gonna show a psych album for every letter of the alphabet, A to Z. Now I've seen this thread in the BC for many years, but I never participated in it. I thought I would give it a shot. Uh, sounded fun, and uh, it's always nice to see a lot of great albums in one video. I know I enjoy it. So uh, let's get started. Uh, let's start off with the letter A. I think that's always a good place to start. David Axelrod, Song of Innocence, 1968. This is his debut album. It's considered to be his best album. And this guy's got pretty pretty good call following. His his records have really shot up in value. Very hard to find. And uh, I pulled this out and I was, I was thinking, wow, I wonder what this thing's worth these days because I hadn't looked it up in a long, long time. So I looked it up and uh, in this condition, which is a nice VG Plus, at least $150. So cool. Not bad for coming out of a thrift store, you know, like 25 years ago. The mystery of music. And this next one black and white. is The Baroques. Early Chicago Psych, recorded in March of 1967. This is their only album. Excellent stuff here. It's on the blue chess label. Okay, for C, I got The Common People, Of The People, By The People, For The People. It's their only album, 1969. One of the top rated psych albums on Capitol. This is on the lime green Capitol label. D. The Deviants, their debut album, recorded in 67, but it didn't get an issue in the United States till 69. This is an awesome proto-punk psych album. And uh, it is on the Sire London label. The End Introspection. Excellent UK pop psych. It's on the London label. Produced by Bill Wyman. It's their only LP. And uh, wow, this is just so good, so good. Okay, one eyeball deserves another eyeball. We got the freak scene, Psychedelic Soul. Now this is the first deep psych album to be released on the Columbia label, 1967. And uh, the band was uh, studio musicians and they were masterminded by Rusty Evans who was also the master behind, mind behind the deep. So in a way this is kind of like the second deep album. Really good stuff. G, The Glass Family. Uh, electric band. So I'm come out in 69 and uh, West Coast psych rock. It's a little bit uneven but there's some really nice tracks on this and uh, it's on the green Warner Brothers label. H. The Head Shop. This, uh, I believe, came out in 69. It's on the ep Epic Yellow label. Uh, again, a little bit uneven, but there's some good tracks on this one for sure. Well worth having. Pretty freaky album. And uh, yeah, folks, that's a real head, shrunken head on there. Okay, this next one is I for Ill Wind. Flashes. Uh, this is a 1968 Boss Town psych album. 
uh, issued on ABC. Now there's two different uh, pressings of this. The original pressing has sound dropouts on uh, the track High Flying Bird. Uh, this is a corrected version where it doesn't have the dropouts. And according to Asset Archives, 2,000 copies of the corrected version were, were pressed. So I got this uh, out of an antique mall probably uh, at least 15 years ago and uh, four dollars so that was quite a fine it's a nice shape okay here's another one on ABC it's Jan and Lorraine Gypsy People this is a real fine album I really like this it's got some nice Eastern vibe on it it gets pretty intense on one long track very cool. I think they were American, but this album was recorded in the UK. Okay, that brings us to K. This is the Kaplan Brothers, Nightbird. Uh, 1975, this is a private press uh, out of Illinois. They were uh, from the Chicago area. And uh, they, they started out, you know, it's like doing lounge rock, you know, and this is their third final album and it's their best album. They get into more uh, sort of a progressive rock uh, vein and uh, it's still got the, the lounge uh, crooner type vocals and stuff like that. It's definitely an oddball album, but it's, it's so good and uh, collectors just love it. So, uh, yeah, awesome. Let me show you the label. It's on uh, Quentin Records. The next one is L and it's Lollipop Shop Just Color. 1968 Punkadelic album featuring Fred Cole. Uh, this is the album. It's got the killer You Must Be a Witch. And it's also got the killer Underground Railroad. So yeah, I got this at Rockaway years and years ago. $18. Excellent condition. Can you believe that? These things have shot up through the roof. So, awesome. This next one is Mother's Invention Freak Out, 1966. Now this is Rock's first double LP. And uh, this is an early press with this hype sticker on it. I think uh, when this thing first came out, um, it had the hype sticker on it because they were, they were doing a special promotion to get people to buy the album. And it says a limited edition two LPs for the price of one. And you rarely ever see that sticker. Um, they were they were issued on the cover. Uh, as far as I know, they were never on the shrink. But uh, yeah, you don't see this bad boy around much. This next one is N Neighborhood Children, and uh, this came out in '68. I think they were a, a Pacific Northwest group. Um, I think they came out of Oregon. And they moved to San Francisco and released this really fine uh, Jefferson Airplane styled album. Uh, it's on the Acta label. Now th um, this is a mono copy and uh, it was uh, only issued in mono as a promo. So uh, pretty cool. This, this next one is for O and it's the other half featuring Randy Holden. Uh, Sort of a hard, hard garage psych uh, album, recorded in '66, so it's pretty early, and it was released in 1968. And uh, good stuff here. The other half. All right, P. Pink Floyd. Piper at the Gates of Dawn. This is a U.S. mono copy. It's a nice shape. I paid uh, quite a bit for it, probably 
oh god at least 20 years ago and uh, yeah these are so hard to find in the wild it's it's just insane so nice classic Q Quatrain. Now it's not Quatrain, it's Quatrain. Good psych rock and the Tetragrammaton label. I think these guys were uh, from the West Coast. This is a white label promo. And uh, really good album. Very, very good. This next one is uh, for R. It's Research 1612 in Research. Now this is a pretty obscure album and uh, I didn't even know about it until maybe like five years ago. Uh, it's sort of punky, psych rock, really experimental, sort of oddball. Um, I haven't listened to it in a while. I need to spin it again because this is pretty good. It's on a small Hollywood label, Flick City. Okay, now we got, uh, this is for the letter S. And this is Rick Saucedo, Heaven Was Blue. This is a heavy hitter, psych album from 1978. Private Press. And uh, it's on the Reality Records. Now, I pulled this out of a thrift store for a dollar about 20 years ago. Um, the vinyl is like a, a nice VG. It plays VG+. Plus, but uh, near mint copies of this easily can sell for over a thousand dollars. So awesome, awesome Psych LP. And that has been reissued. Okay, we got uh, for T. I have all the 34 Elevator albums, but I thought I would pull this one out, give it some love. And it's Bull of the Woods, 1969. And um, this copy is in the shrink wrap still. There's the, uh, the Green International Artist label. Yeah, Rocky was going through some trials and tribulations when this album came out. So uh, he isn't really featured on it too much, but the other guy stepped it up and uh, did a really nice job on that one. Okay, this next one for you is Ultimate Spinach, their debut album. And I'd have a really nice stereo copy, but this one is a mono copy and it is a white label promo. And the only way you can get the, the original pressings of the mono is either through a promo or through the Capitol Record Club issue. And uh, it, is a, it is a dedicated mono mix, it is different. Um, so, yeah, really cool. Okay, V. Vanilla Fudge Renaissance. Now, I don't, I'm not really into these guys too much, but this is the only Vanilla Fudge album I have, and uh, I really like it. It's heavy uh, organ-dominated uh, uh, progressive rock. Uh, really cool from start to finish. Um... Yeah, I definitely would recommend this one if you don't know Vanilla Fudge very well. And uh, it's on the, the th uh, tricolor label. Okay, it brings us to W. Gotta have West Coast Pop Art Experimental Band. And uh, this is my favorite album by them. This is a white label mono mix copy. And uh, look at that, they don't have the steamboat on the label, they just got the uh, times of the, of the tracks in, in its place. Um, definitely sounds different from stereo. And uh, it's got a nice fuller sound, which I like. Psych is always great in stereo, you know, for the most part. But, uh, you know, I, I, you know I, like, I like the best of both worlds, stereo and mono. Okay, this one is uh, Excursions, Christian Rock, in a really good private press, no label, the band put it out themselves. They put, they pressed a ton of copies of this because 
it's relatively easy to get and uh, not that expensive. So just really good uh, heavy rock, uh, Christian rock. It's got some fuzz, real cool stuff. Not real preachy, just real likable. For, for uh, why, we got the Yardbirds, Little Games, featuring Jimmy Page. This is on the uh, yellow Epic label. And finally, we got the Zodiac, Cosmic Sounds. And uh, this one came out in uh, 1967, The Summer of Love. And it's on uh, Electro. Kind of a groundbreaking album, really. You know, it's got uh, spoken word, um, you know, about each star sign, and uh, with uh, some psychedelic uh, instrumentation going on in the background. It's a good album. This is a good album to start off with if you're like just starting to get into psych, and, and it's, it's one of the ones you would pick up because they're relatively cheap. So uh, that's going to do it. Yeah, I, I, sh I showed that uh, Live at Leeds album cover because Michael over at uh, Near Wild Heaven had said he'd never seen that before. So I wanted to get that up so he could check that out. So yeah, if you don't know Michael's channel, it's Near Wild Heaven and the guys like me, um, it, it, we pretty much have the same taste in music and he's been on for a couple years now and he's showing his lifelong collection you know he's he shows all genres and you know punk new wave psych so uh, check him out near wild heaven later